Hey guys, welcome back to Objective Reviews. I'm Nick and today we're going to be taking a look at Newton. It's time to supercharge your email. Well, the folks from Cloud Magic got in touch with me to check out their iOS and Mac apps for Newton. And it's an email app and it is like any other email app if you see it from the surface. but once you see the price tag that it carries at $50 a year, well, you might be left thinking, is it worth it? Well, so that's what we're gonna be finding out today in this review. Now, the first thing you're gonna be doing with any email app is setting it up with your email account. However, in Newton, first you gotta create an account for Newton, which allows you to sync all your settings and email accounts across all the supported platforms that they have, including Android, Windows and Mac. Now, of course, you can add multiple email accounts to your Newton account and it's going to sync across all the other devices, like I said, and you can use them using their unified inbox. Now, unified inbox is also something we've seen in other email apps, but there's one recurring problem throughout all of the other implementations that Newton cracks down the ability to see which email belongs in which inbox. Now, say you have two email accounts set up, one is your personal account, the other is your work account, and you have no idea where the email has come in from, you've got to open it and then realize, okay, it's either my work or my personal account. Well, Newton solves that problem by adding a thin colored strip on each email cell that quickly tells you, okay, this is either from your work or your personal account or some other account that you're managing. And this allows you to quickly differentiate between multiple accounts and you can change these colors or account from the settings menu. Now from the navigation bar, you can quickly toggle between all the emails in the unified inbox or your start emails or only your Android emails. And this applies to the regular inboxes as well. Now if you open an email, you're gonna get not the threaded experience that we are used to, but each reply is an individual cell one below the other. And this makes reading these emails very, very easy. And if you notice, there are two blue tick marks in there that basically tell you that the person you've sent the email to has actually read them. Now, this is useful in several occasions, especially when you email that one client who simply says, well, I didn't get the email of that invoice. But nonetheless, I'm sure you guys can find some pretty unique users for this feature and I really appreciate it being there. What you can also do in each thread is tap on the profile of the sender and what you will essentially get is a card showing information about the sender across their various social platforms. And you can also tap the button in the top right corner of the card to switch and see the profile of the company if you are sending from a company or work email account. Now this does not work for your regular at Gmail or at outlook.com email IDs, but it will work for any email ID that is associated with a company's domain. And of course, back into the main section, we have your swipe actions that allow you to archive, mark an email as unread or snooze it for later and all those other things. And you can customize the order of these things from the settings menu. Now, composing an email is again, a pretty standard affair, but what Newton allows you to do is when you add attachments to the email, you can either send them in the original size or you can send them compressed and Newton will automatically figure out what is the best compression rate and do it for you. Now when you're composing an email before sending that send button, you should also check out the send later option. Now what this option does is allow you to send an email at a later date and time and well essentially you can also ask Newton to not send this email if the person you're sending the email to replies back to you before that time. So if you are expecting a reply from someone and you want to quickly send them a gentle reminder, hey, uh, what happened about this? But you want to wait and then the person replies back, well, Newton is not going to send that email out and you don't look like an idiot. So if you go and explore the settings section, you will see that Newton integrates with a lot of third-party apps like Evernote, Todoist, Asana, OneNote, Trello, and a lot more stuff. Uh, I do not use any of these, but it's good to know that developers are getting interested into integrating with other apps and giving more tools to power users to play around with and integrate it into their workflows. Now coming to the watchOS app, it is probably one of the best watchOS apps for mail that I have ever used. It is probably the only one that 
syncs reliably with the iPhone app and well of course I can finally archive and delete emails from the watchOS app itself. Now the watchOS app is always only going to show you 100 emails that are in your inboxes and that is it. You cannot read your red emails on the watchOS app but I see the design pattern behind this and I completely agree with them. But like I said, it is one of the most solid watchOS apps for using email on your watch and it does not fail any single time. The sync is super good and I would even probably justify paying their monthly or annual subscription fee just for this one thing. Yes, Newton is a paid app and it's going to cost you roughly about $50 a year. Now, if you think about it, that's a lot and especially some might say, wow, when other apps are giving a lot of this for free, does any of this justify paying $50 a year? Well, it kind of depends on what you want from an email app. Do you want a rock solid, always fast, always synced across all your devices email app that has a fantastic watchOS app that never ever fails on you? Well, you have your answer. But if you're a casual emailer, and you use emails very casually just to get updates and spam notifications from companies that spam you. Maybe this is not the right fit. But nonetheless, they have a 14 day free trial, so go check it out. And let me know down in the comments how you liked it. Well, this is it for this review. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, you know what to do. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers.